Hello everyone, this is Anu from the Australian Academy. The cue card that I am going to discuss with you today is public facility that improves or influences the local life quality. You have to talk about one of the basic amenities that is provided by the government which has actually improved the quality of life of the residents. And you have to answer the questions like what the facility is, you have to name that particular public facility, where it is in your area or maybe some nearby towns or and how does it improve? What is the purpose like that? How do you feel ki it has actually influenced in a positive way? Or, and then finally, you have to explain how do you feel about it? What is your perspective? What is your opinion about this particular facility? Okay, the main thing that you have to keep in mind in this particular topic is you have to choose about one of the public facilities. Now, what is a public facility? First of all, we have to define what is a public facility that it is these are the basic amenities which the government of any area provides to its residents. It is provided by the government so that the residents are able to live and sustain a comfortable life. They are quite affordable and are quite accessible. Now, there are a number of public facilities which you can talk about. It's like for example, you can talk about the public transport system because this is provided by the government. Secondly, you can even mention about healthcare. I am giving you a list of public facilities. You can choose any one of them and regarding that, you can just frame your cue card. Then uh, these days the uh, utilization of the open spaces they are converting into their uh, government is developing into good parks and they are installing open air gyms also so that is also one public facility that has actually improved it has made a remarkable difference in the lives of the residents. You can also talk about a public library if there is such kind of a facility that is being developed in your area. Then. The basic uh, things like sanitation and water and electricity, they are also a part of the public facility. If you feel ki, like in previous times there was a problematic situation but now with the intervention of government and the, so much of efforts are being done, then you can talk about these facilities as well. Similarly, roads, roads and highways are also a part of the public facilities. Apart from that, you can even talk about stadium. Supposedly, if I talk about my area, there has been a new stadium erected for hockey. So, that is one facility that has made the lives of sports enthusiasts quite good. Okay, you can also talk about educational institutes. If there is a, an upcoming educational institute which is actually providing a lot of uh, courses to so many people so that the students, they do not have to migrate to other metropolitan cities. So, these are a list of public facilities out of which you can choose and talk about anyone. Okay, currently in this particular video, I will be taking public transport as in mock answer. So, obviously, you will start by giving an opening line. Here, you can start by explaining or defining what exactly is a public facility as I have already said these are the basic amenities which are provided by the government to the citizens so that they can in, they are ensured of a sustainable and a comfortable life and these facilities are such that they are quite accessible and in a affordable way because if the person has to spend so much of money then he or she would not benefit because not everybody can spend so much of money okay here i would like to talk about a public facility that is the public transport system in my area you have to tell about where it is then you can just elaborate on the area in which you are living and or about that area where you have seen that particular facility obviously it has to be local area okay then i would like to talk about the introduction of low floor ac buses earlier whatever the public transport buses were there they were high rise they had high pedestals so it was quite difficult for specifically for the senior citizens and women traveling with kids so vaise bhi, uh, if the women are traveling they find it quite difficult to board a high pedestal bus and specifically for the people who are disabled who have a problem in stepping up on a higher pedestal okay so when the government when the local council they thought of introducing this low floor ac buses obviously these are these were the section of people who were mostly benefiting and secondly since these buses were air conditioned and the extent of summer season in my area is pretty long so traveling became a pleasure earlier people were traveling in the local buses who, which were non air conditioned so traveling in summer was a big problem moreover the buses were very overcrowded so these were the problems which was actually solved by the introduction of this particular kind of road transport okay the people did not face too much of fatigue because obviously when you are traveling in ac buses so you don't feel the heat and everyone gets a good seating capacity plus the government made sure that the 
frequency of these number of buses was quite high they always ran on schedule so that nobody misses out on the destinations and they were it actually led to a decrease in the number of private vehicles on the road because earlier what made people take uh, their own uh, private vehicles to their workplace because they were could not rely and moreover whatever public transport was available it was either ill maintained or they were not running on time there were so many problems but with the introduction of this particular kind of buses they were happy that they could reach their destination with less fatigue and on time so they were having quite a comfortable experience traveling in this buses so the introduction actually reduced the number of private vehicles on the road which ultimately led to less pollution okay so these are the benefits that people were having and you you have actually answered how does it improve the life quality of the people then gradually you should start summing up your cue card the last question that is left is explain how do you feel about it like if you can talk about ki it was a very great concerted effort and i really appreciate the efforts of the local council because they have made such a positive and a remarkable influence in the life of the travelers and the commuters now commuting locally is not a hassle earlier people used to dread and you can even quote an example of one of your maybe relatives or somebody who came and while he was traveling he was actually impressed with this particular facility and you can always express your thanks to the local council and that the whatever contribution they have provided in making the lives of the people is really appreciable and you are pretty thankful it is this introduction of low flow buses buses is actually a blessing for the people once you are done with the cue card the examiner is going to ask you certain follow up questions pertaining to the topic that you have just spoken on what facilities do young people and old people prefer in your region you have to make a comparison and you have to tell what are the preferences of the younger generation and what is the preference of the older people in terms of their requirements and in terms of their preferences of public facilities so you can start by giving a comparison that usually the younger people they prefer something which is exciting and they are quite okay with crowded places like shopping malls or you can talk about uh, stadiums gyms which are quite very much in association with their lifestyle so they would prefer these kind of public facilities to be developed in their region okay they might also ask for uh, high quality gyms or they can also ask for good and state of the art educational facilities okay so that could be their preference but when we talk about the grey population or the senior citizens they actually do not prefer crowded places they want serenity and tranquility so they are more attracted towards the natural beauty and they would actually ask for the development of parks or green spaces where they can enjoy their life in a peaceful environment moreover because of their age they might ask for a better healthcare facilities okay and some people who are actually fond of library they are actually keen on the development of a public library because not everyone can afford to purchase or buy so many books so if there is a facility for public library they it will serve as a dual purpose of reading as well as a congregation of people where like minded and like age group people can come and meet and have a good time so this is the way you can just answer regarding the preferences of the young and the old then if the question asks what is the difference between the amenities in countryside that is the rural area and the city that is the urban area so you can just start by saying that in the city the usually the infrastructure is pretty modern and advanced so the roads and the highways like previously when i mentioned all the types of public facilities you can just enumerate a few of them and give their comparison this of is the rural areas like in city the infrastructure is quite advanced there are more number of better uh, healthcare facilities more number of educational institutes and maybe the entertainment facilities are also better in terms of cinema halls or you can talk about big and upcoming shopping malls in a city life but if we talk about the rural area they are still a bit backward or underdeveloped as compared to the city so the infrastructure or the amenities are obviously a bit a low level uh, at a lower level as compared to the city life because they are mostly restricted in their natural environment so and sometimes due to paucity of funds or maybe there is no such pressure of the government that they uh, these areas are unable to develop themselves in providing these basic basic facilities 
If the question asks what measures should be taken to deal with the damage to public facilities, usually it is a tendency of the people that since these facilities are public and nothing goes from their own pocket, so some people, some miscreants, they try to damage these public facilities. Okay, so what should be done? So first thing is that the government should appoint proper staff who can maintain and keep a check. There should be a display of rules and regulations so that people are aware that they are not allowed to create a mess in that particular facility or they should not misuse them. They should not uh, just tamper with the system. Okay, and then to certain extent imposing a fine or a penalty to the defaulters or the miscreants is actually very important because this will give a message to one and all that if any one uh, tries to damage these public facilities or they are trying to just alter the regular process then they will be fined. Certain disciplinary action should be taken so that it sends out a message to the for in preventing future miscreation. Okay, then. <laughs> the government can appoint certain volunteers who can take care of these public facilities. They can ensure that the normal people, they do not create any ruckus in these areas. Okay, the awareness, basically the awareness needs to be created regarding the maintenance of these public facilities because after all these facilities are being provided by the government for the benefit of the citizens. So unless and until they realize they own that this is for our benefit, they will not uh, stop playing with them. Has there been a change in people's mindset towards public facilities in recent times? Do you think there has been a paradigm shift like in earlier times and in the modern times or it is the like the people have the same viewpoint? You can just start by saying that in earlier times people were actually not aware about their rights that the government is supposed to give them these particular facilities. So they took it for granted if the roads were not developed though so maybe one or two complaints they actually made but since no action was taken so they just uh, took it for granted that the government is not going to do but now with the advent of social media and since everybody is so aware people are aware of their rights and duties so they can exercise this particular provision that the government should provide them they are quite uh, aware about their own duties and their rights so they know that the provision of these um, basic immunities is their own right and it is the duty of the government to provide them in a better way because these uh, facilities are aimed for the betterment of the people so they can raise a voice maybe sometimes they resort to protest and other uh, uh, violent things but they actually are aware that the provision the government is actually supposed to provide them these particular facilities they can ask for it they can exercise their right to ask for their basic facilities if the question says is it a good idea to levy taxes on the general public for maintenance of public facilities that means if the government says that since okay we are ready to provide you these particular facilities but we will be levying a certain tax so that we are able to maintain this so is it a good idea or is it a bad idea now this is quite a debatable issue you can uh, speak on either of the notion like some people believe that okay since the government is providing us uh, so much uh, facilities so if we are uh, and it will be maintaining it with the help of the money that is collected as tax through the common people it is perfectly fine but on the other hand some people say since it is our right and it is the prerogative of the government that they should provide these particular facilities to each and every citizen then why should we pay money for our own rights government has enough budget it has got enough funds it can just uh, allocate certain funds so that each and every citizen each and every individual is provided because it is the duty of the government Okay, I hope the uh, cue card and the follow-up questions are clear to you. Thank you.